Yo, this Oprah slide. Shout out to Hoop Journey. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? Julian from Hoop Journey. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Tonight's matchup, we have Ben Simmons and LeBron James going up against each other for the first time. At, when Ben Simmons coming into the draft in 2016, everybody was comparing him to LeBron. And he's been playing great, looking like he's going to run away with the Rookie of the Year award. But LeBron James got the W tonight in a 113-91 win in Philadelphia. Cleveland is now on an eight game winning streak. Started off very slow for them, but now they are picking it up. And so is LeBron, who dropped 30 points tonight 13 rebounds, six assists, 12 for 22 shooting, and just playing great. Led his team in scoring and rebounding and in assists. He's just the best player in the world, no question about it. Joel Embiid matched LeBron's 30 points, 11 rebounds. Ben Simmons slowing down, looking normal for once with only 10 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals tonight. And he did leave the 4th quarter, the beginning of the 4th quarter with an ankle injury and would not return to the game, but hopefully he'll be okay. But 76ers still were on a 3 game winning streak coming to this game and they played very well these past couple games. And they are definitely look like a strong possibility to make the playoffs in the East. Probably like a 90% chance they will make it if uh, they can stay healthy and Embiid and Simmons and whenever Markel Fultz come back. But look at Dwayne Wade who dropped 15 points off the bench right there. Ben Simmons would answer him though driving in, finishing with that right hand. You know what, he is ambidextrous. He can finish with either left or the right. But Dwayne Wade taking these young guys to work, fading away over Ben Simmons and knocks it down. Kevin Love only finished off with 13 points tonight. J.R. Smith, 11 points. And then no Markel Fultz. He's still injured with that shoulder injury. Still hasn't been reevaluated for him when he is going to come back. But 76 is definitely going to be missing him. The number one overall pick. They want to see what he can do. And look at that finish from J.R. Smith on the dunk from LeBron. And when LeBron is hitting those from downtown at the buzzer beater to end the second quarter. Gets his own rebound, just padding his stats. And the 76ers were in this game. It was a very back and forth game until Cleveland and LeBron just ran away with it on a run. And the 76ers could not answer. They only got offense tonight from Joel Embiid. JJ Redick finished off with only 11 points tonight. TJ McDonald off the bench, 11 points. And uh, 76ers are a good shooting team, especially Robert Covington. But just struggling for Covington tonight. Only one for 11, only had two points. He is one of the best three-point shooters this season. He is definitely someone who can light it up. Jose Calderon got the start at the point guard for the Cavs. Didn't play too much. I mean, he did get 22 minutes. Did not score five assists, though. And, uh, you know, he's about 36, 37. But he's not even supposed to be the second-string point guard. But Derrick Rose is going through a situation. He's considering retirement. Or I don't know what it is, but he's injured again. Unfortunately, Derrick Rose dealt with injuries his whole career. And everybody knows Isaiah Thomas is ruled to come back around January time for the Cavaliers. So we'll see what happens there. Ben Simmons on the dunk heading into the fourth quarter. Would not matter though. The Cavaliers, you see already here, 94-79. Running away with this game. And look at the block. Dwayne Wade blocks Joel Embiid. Dwayne Wade is only 6'4". Joel Embiid 7 feet. And LeBron would answer with a jumper in front of Joel Embiid's face right here. Setting up the offense. He wants that ISO. And he's going to work on easily step back. Jumper is good. And that would do it. Cavaliers come away 113-91. You see another look at that block from Dwayne Wade. And look at the behind the back pass. Dwayne Wade looking for a dunk. But just those knees aren't putting up the bunnies anymore. But let me know what you guys think about the Cavaliers and their winning streak. They have the biggest winning streak. Most wins win streak in the NBA right now. Coming with the big win in Philadelphia. LeBron would end this game with 30 points. Let's win